Hi guys, Confetti Betty here, and if like me, you've been ever confused by the in-game bucks and all the limits that seem to be around on collecting them, I thought I'd just quickly go over some of the things that you can do to collect bucks. Now, everyone knows that in-game bucks, or the Adopt Me currency, is easily collected in different ways. So you can do tasks, you can see the tasks popping up on the bottom of my screen there, and you can see that my little dog is thirsty, and so if I now put him onto his dish, he will get some lovely water and then once he has finished it will come up and it says that he's not thirsty anymore and I have 10 bucks for that. And various tasks have various bucks. So if you do the sleepy task and you put them to bed then it's 8 bucks. A hungry task is 10. The thirsty is 10 as well as we just saw. Uh, the dirty when you put them in the shower is 12. The bored when you take them to either the play park or you can put them at a piano just at the back there you can see the pianos. Um, and that's the board task and that is 18 bucks and you can put them into the school so they get some education and that is 18 bucks as well you can take them to the salon for a pamper day and that's 18 bucks the pizza party at the pizza parlor and that's 18 bucks um, and then there's the sick one which is when you need to give them a golden apple or take them in and get them healed in the hospital and that will give you 15 bucks and you can also do it to yourself if you play as a baby. So that sort of doubles the amount of money you get by doing all the different tasks for yourself and your pet. There used to be a cold task as well, uh, which was going to the hot springs to warm up. But uh, yeah, that's been removed at the moment. So maybe it'll come back one day, but at the moment it's gone, gone, gone. Uh, so there's also jobs. You can go around and you can do jobs and that can get you 50 bucks every in-game day. So you'll see that the day sort of the, the sun goes across the sky almost and you have nighttime which is when you sleep and you have daytime when you have other tasks um, and so every day after nighttime that's a new day starts and then you can go and collect another 50 bucks and you also have a 150 buck limit per day so you can only collect doing the various things the tasks and the money trees which I'll show you now the money tree um, you can collect money from the money tree you see the money tree over here I've got mine kind of hidden in this little post here but if I click on it I collected two bucks and every five minutes you can collect about eight bucks um, but the money tree has a limit as well of only a hundred bucks but that is a hundred bucks a day an actual human out in the real world day a hundred bucks anyway so in the actual game every in-game day you can collect up to 150 bucks and then you need to really wait for the next day so if you get a task like um, food you know he wants to eat or he wants uh, some water he's thirsty or whatever um, and your your limit and it comes up saying you've hit your limit of 150 bucks wait till the next day and then give them the food and things and then you'll get the money for it rather than wasting the task so that's a good way of collecting your bucks and making sure that you don't lose out so there are other ways that you can earn bucks um, and there used to be a daily reward which uh, well there used to be like a, a, a Sort of every five minutes or whatever reward 10 minutes i think it was and you used to get 20 bucks but that's gone um but the daily reward's still there and you get 25 bucks which accumulates each time that you log in and you get 50 bucks and then you get 100 bucks and then you get 200 bucks uh, and then you get a gift on the fifth day which is quite nice um and yeah and that kind of goes back and resets again so then you start again at 25 bucks and then 50 bucks and that's literally just for logging in that's literally just for logging in and coming into the game uh you can also have things like this the till uh which i've got down here and there you can see them just there and that you can have people give you money for being in your house and you can also put out stands like lemonade stands and hot dog stands and lately the cotton candy stand and people can pay you for cotton candy or lemonade or hot dogs and there's also things like a vehicle that you can put out which is the um, ice cream vehicle and that will also bring you in money the ice cream truck uh, you can also use taxis and then you can um, basically drive people around in adopt me and they will pay you for the taxi journey and yeah, and there are some other little things, which is like the game passes. If you buy a game pass, the VIP or the starter pack, you do get some money back for those. But remember, once you've brought them, you don't get the money again. It's literally just one time, a one time deal. So yeah, so that's pretty much all the ways that you can earn money in Adopt Me. And like I say, just remember if you're getting to the end of the day and it's saying that you've hit your 150 buck limit, don't panic, just wait till the next day, have your little sleep, wake up the next day and you'll start earning bucks again. 
Okay guys, so there you go, a little bit of help for you whilst we're all grinding for this new um, gorilla circus that's coming in, or gorilla fairground. So I just thought I would give you a little bit of help. Okay guys, Confetti Betty saying bye bye.